As we get into warmer spring weather, more children, more adults are going to take a ride on a bicycle. For some, that could be dangerous. In 2019, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, South Carolina had the third highest bicycle accident fatality rate in the whole country, more than double the rate of North Carolina or Georgia. As spring weather week continues, 7 News meteorologist Dan Bickford shows us the bike maintenance and safety tips that can help keep both riders and drivers safe. From trails to residential streets to city streets, bicycles are out there for transportation and recreation. Before you head out to take advantage of warmer spring weather, make sure your bicycle and you are ready. It starts with making sure your bike won't fail you. One thing we want to do is make sure your tires are inflated to proper pressure. It's going to stay on the tires, uh, how much PSI to put in there. You also want to check your tires to make sure they're not worn out. Make sure it shifts okay. You want to look at your chain. If you see any rust on it, you might want to oil it a little bit, keep those things oiled. And then make sure everything, the brakes work well. If they squeak, that might be there's a little bit of dirt on the rim, so you might want to clean that off. Make sure your brake pads aren't worn too much and, and just make sure uh, they squeeze and they stop. Take a brief ride around your neighborhood and make sure everything is good before you go on any longer ride. Local bike shops offer tune-ups to make sure your bike is safe. Whether you're on a neighborhood street or you're on the Spartanburg Rail Trail, safety is paramount. And the one thing you must make sure you've got on is the helmet. You know, here's a helmet that was uh, in a wreck, and it certainly saved her from more serious injury. She wrecked on this side, and it's quite flat. You also want to make sure others can see you. Reflective clothing for you. Daytime blinkers for your bike can grab motorists' attention. We want the car driver to realize that we're out there too. We, we can be on the road also and like just have them be patient. Um, we can move over, especially if there's a single rider uh, there to be careful, give them, give them enough room to pass. And same thing with large groups. We try and ride, you know, two abreast together. That makes our footprint much smaller. So when you have an area uh, that's safe to pass, you can do it much quicker. Yes, two people riding side by side is legal under the laws in the Carolinas and Georgia. It also makes riders more visible. Sticking to lesser traveled roads and multi-purpose trails is safer for families, but not without some dangers. Always stay alert and follow local traffic laws. And have the kids stay together. Don't let them go sprinting off in the road because the kids aren't always going to be aware. In Spartanburg, meteorologist Dan Bickford, 7 News. Waiting for Dan to say bike responsibly. We have links to more resources concerning bicycle safety, our area bicycling clubs on WSPA.com. Tomorrow night at 11, 7 News meteorologist Jackie Brown shows us the best way to keep the bugs outside of our homes this spring.